Okay, so there was a new glitch. Well, I don't know about new glitch, but a new zip found by Scrimpy three days ago. And this new zip saves 18 seconds compared to the normal zip that saves 10 seconds. Uh, the problem with this new zip is that it's not RTA friendly, at least yet, maybe. I'm not sure. So, I'm going to explain everything that I understand about this trick. And, um, I can't really compare this strat with the way Scrampa does it because I actually, since I paused here, I wait here for a little bit. And if you see this moving vertical block on the top right side, and you see this block that's, well, not moving, it's just there in the top right. And if you see, like, right in the middle of the blocks, it's like a little more shade of white, I guess. Um, I wait until the bottom of this is lined up with the bottom of this on top. So let's line them up. Right there. That's good. And that's when I start walking towards the sledge. And now you have to do a series of nearly frame perfect jumps here. And the reason why you have to do that is because the screen normally scrolls when you jump up these ledges. And we want to avoid that because the ceiling up top will never load if you're able to make it up here within um, those nearly frame perfect jumps. That'll ca cause the screen to kind of lock in place, I guess you can say it. And that's what you want to start this glitch slash zip. <laughs> so I'll give a quick demonstration. Oh wait. Okay. No, why don't I do it real time? Since that's kind of the point. See, what happened there is my jumps weren't nearly frame perfect, so the ceiling loaded. And my jump got stunted. There we go. You notice you don't see Simon on the screen at all. So we don't have the ceiling loaded up top. He can just jump freely. And you have to do another one of these nearly frame perfect jumps on his way down. The trouble with this is that you have only a couple frames to even see him actually hit the ground. So it's really difficult to tell when you need to jump exactly. So I'm gonna to try to demonstrate this. This is the save state for it. Okay, so just like that. Now, the ceiling still isn't loaded. We've jumped, we've did that nearly frame perfect jump again. And now we're jumping onto this platform that's moving up here. And the reason why I delayed over here for this platform to reach up a little more is because it will eliminate the off screen jumps that I need to do up here. Because if I get up here quicker, then I'm gonna have to stay up here more for these platforms to rise up. So I just waited out down here as long as I can pretty much. 
so I can eliminate those off-screen jumps. Now, unfortunately, you have to do one more jump. And this is the section that I don't really understand completely. But I have a save state for it. Now, this is the jump I was just talking about previously that gets up onto this platform. That gets onto the vertical platform here. And through my research, starting from this frame, frames 15 and 16 will work. But it's not just getting the jumps either. It seems that Simon's position also plays a role in making this work. So I'm going to skip ahead to frame 15. That's 14. Now I'm going to input B for three frames on 15 because Simon's highest jump is three frames. Let go B. Now you notice the screen kind of jerked back a little bit. What I'm pretty sure this is, is that Simon is trying to zip over He's already trying to start it. And if you do it already, like at this very point, you're way too low to get across. You're just going to stop. And what I believe is happening here is that I'm interrupting that zip in like the first few frames that it's happening. And, well, I'm not really, I don't really understand the rest that's... <laughs> That's really all I know about that. That's, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna go back here. We'll go back to that frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And now, if I hold right for another five frames. Let go for three, hold left for three, let go. Then, ooh, this might be, that shouldn't work. Or, no, nah, it will still, okay. Let's get back to that frame. Okay, so six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let go for three, left for three, let go. Now, what I'm looking at here is the right border of Simon's inventory box being almost lined up with the right border of uh, this vertical platform here. Those two nearly lining up with each other. I mean, of course, you don't, it's not quite there, but it's close enough. And for some reason, this works. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's just this tight of a window but this will work every time. Okay, so I'm just gonna move on from that because I that's the part that I still don't fully understand and I don't wanna go on more with it until I can figure out more. But yeah, I found that frames 15 and 16 work here. And if you line those two things up that I mentioned, then it will work. If either one of those is incorrect, it won't work. 
Um, if one of them is correct and the other isn't, it won't work. This thing, you know, like I've said a bunch of times already, I just don't understand this part. And I'm going to have to research it some more before I can fully explain it any further. So moving on from that. Um, visual cue for zipping to the right. Um, you have eight frames to do this. If you go too early, let's see here. Okay. If you go too early, you're just going to die. Just like that. you go too late um, actually if you're like a frame or two too late you'll die but if you're later than that then you'll just go back in bounds which is kind of weird let's try one two three okay yeah see you just end up back in bounds. So, yeah, an eight frame window. That's a good amount. It makes this, with the visual cue that I've developed, this is easy. And that visual cue is just this health bar overlapping uh, this background here. <clears throat> nice and easy um, I would can actually show you guys the first and last frames that it'll work I'll have pictures of these but I can just show you anyway let's see here okay So this is the first frame. This is the little image right here. This is the first frame that you can input left and it'll work. That's the last frame. Actually, I forgot to input left, so wait, will this work? No, yeah. So yeah, that was the last frame. So, first frame, last frame. Those two frames and anything in between, if you input left, it'll work. Now let's just choose a random frame. Now let's make our way over. Okay, so the first frame you can start holding right here is here. This is the first frame. Holding right here and just about any point onwards, you're okay. And I'll show you the last frame. This is the last frame. So you have you have a huge window for that. That shouldn't be any trouble. But um that's pretty much everything I understand so far. And 
it seems like that's almost all of it except you know the most important part of the trick so I'm hoping sometime soon I can figure it out someone else can figure it out anybody can figure it out <laughs> I don't really care uh, I just hope it gets figured out pretty soon so yeah thank you for watching